Hey guys, got a tutorial for you on how to get Parallels Desktop 7 for your Mac. Uh, works perfectly it's so that you can open Windows files on your Mac, which won't open on your Mac. Um, it runs really smoothly. It's the best virtual machine out there, in my personal opinion. It's better than VMware, uh, Fusion, and VirtualBox as well. So basically, you need to, uh, you need Vues. Well. Views is also my, in my opinion, the best torrent client that you can have, which is this, and it's the it's easiest to work as well, and it's really quick. So you just need to go into Kickass Torrents, type in Parallels Desktop Seven, and to be honest, if I go onto it, yeah, there is only. Uh, There is only one, and as you can see, the comments say worked hundred percent. Okay, I hope there's our excellent upload works great and all that. So you know it works. And then I look at the comments first thing whenever I download off the site anyway. So that's that. Um, so on views, I'm gonna do this complete install as well. So I haven't installed it on my laptop. I have done before, but I re restore my laptop. So. Basically, just go to Show and Finder and Foos, and then to the installer, click Install. Open. It says checking for updates, but don't update. I never update if I'm downloading something illegally, should I say. I'll just install the current one. Yeah, it's just going to run to see if it can be installed. Continue. 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 Agree, and it will say this will take five nine seven megabytes of space on your computer. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, install. Right, that's just preparing to install. So I'm just going to pause the video, and I will be back as soon as that is installed. Right, I'm back, and as you can see, the installation was successful. It only took really a couple of minutes. To three minutes, so it's not too bad. So we just close that, close out of that, close out of that. Just minimize our views. I normally just minimize views anyway, so uh, minimize that and go into applications. And there's pa Parallels Desktop there, successfully installed. Let's just eject that while well, that's opening up. As you can see, it's asking for a key, so sorry about that. I need to go back to this. That's why I keep booze open in case I need something. Here we go. Activation key and credits. Yeah, just restore it. All right, there's your activation key. Just copy that. It is Command C to copy. For those who don't know, go back. Command V and activate. As you can see, it says the current copy of Parallels desktop was successfully activated. When you press OK, right. Create new account. Pick a password. Put in your details. I'm gonna put in my details. I'll come back after I've done that because I don't really want you guys to know where I live. To be honest with you. Sorry guys, I actually made a mistake. You can't register because uh, it just if you go into create account, it says uh, uh, register with you've tried to register with an invalid product key, which you pretty much have. So uh, just click the X and it'll say register later. Uh, that was a bit of a mistake there. So just let that sort of stuff out. Right, here we go. Now, click, uh, once you've downloaded your Windows 7, 
which I have here in my on my external drive right here. Uh, I will sh I'll put the link in the description of where to get that. T now it does take a while for Windows 7 to download. I'm not too sure why, but um, I, yeah, again though I did get it from Kickass Torrents. It is my favorite. My favorite site. It's better than Pirate Bay, in my personal opinion. Anyway, you just go Windows 7, and you can choose whichever one you like. It's up to you, but make sure you read the comments. As you can see, I think this is probably the one I got because the comments are so good. Uh, thanks for the upload. It truly works. Big thanks and all that sort of stuff. So, just go into there. Uh, now, I'm gonna click install. Windows from DVD or image file and continue. Now, when you get to this page, just go press down and then choose an image file. Right. Wait for it to load up. Go to my external hard drive. ISO. Oh, ISO, sorry. And then continue. Right. As you can see, sometimes you have to enter a product key for Windows. If you click Express Installation, Installation, uh, you have to put your product key. If you uncheck it, you can just click Continue, which is what I normally do. And I never get any hassle with it anyway. So, on this one, you can choose whatever you want. You can choose like a Mac and you can read this if you like or research into it. I would just use like a PC because then you've got your separate PC and you've got your Mac. So it's like when I want to work with a PC, I'm working on my Mac as a PC. When I want to work as a Mac, I work on my Mac as a Mac. So, hope that made sense anyway. Name Windows 7. No, I don't want to share with any other users because it's only me on this Mac. Because I don't let anyone touch my laptop. Let that load. I don't know how long this is going to take, so... Oh, wait, there's no... I'll just pause it for a sec, and I'll be back in a sec. Alright, guys, I'm back. As you can see, it says Windows is loading files. It doesn't actually take that long, so there's no point doing that. I will be pausing the video in a couple of minutes time when it's actually installing the Windows. But I've tried VirtualBox and I've tried VMware Fusion and they're both like VirtualBox doesn't have as much functionality um, as any of the others because it's free. But v VMware Fusion um, is just really slow and glitchy and I don't know why or any of that so. Uh, let's just wait for Windows to load. Right, now <clears throat> we're at the actual install page. So, language English, uh, time and currency, I'll obviously choose not Zimbabwe, even though I'm from Zambia, which is next door neighbors to that, but I just choose United Kingdom because that's where I am now. Go to the use. Scottish, no, it's a bit silly. Sorry, go back up. Back to English. Um, Ireland. United Kingdom, that's what I'm looking for. Right. Keyboard, yeah, next. Right, and then install now. This is so simple to use as well. Parallels is just. It's really simple to use. And as you can see, you do get a Windows, like your Parallels, on your desktop. You don't have to have it there, but it's easy access as well. Or in your um, dock. I'm using ScreenFlow to record this video, by the way. So, that's just going to set up and install as you all know how windows works uh, I am on a 86 not a 64 press next 
accept the terms next upgrade close I don't know why it's just done that, sorry, I have to go through that process again. Next. Accept. Next. Yeah, sorry, this one. It's saw a new copy. It's the wrong one. It says total size 64 gigabytes, free space 64 gigabytes. Next. I'd advise you to have quite a big hard drive if you want to uh, any sort of virtual machine on your desktop just because it can slow it down quite a bit and if you have a load of junk on your um, laptop as well. So you might need Mac clean my Mac that normally cleans up junk. App Cleaner as well does. Uh, if you want to get App Zapper, which is this one here, uh, do that because that deletes any apps you don't you don't want and all their files as well. So while well, this is busy installing itself, I'm just going to pause the video and I'll be back as soon as that is done. Right, guys, I'm back and that took a little while. So uh, I'm now on the. Uh, Main screen. Let's go next. Put in a password. The usual. Not put a product key in. Use recommended settings. Next. Home network. So that connect. Uh, Windows is finalizing the settings. Alright guys, as you can see it says welcome, the loading screen, so just let it load up, we'll get to the start menu and whatnot and then I'll, that'll be the end of the video. Pretty much that's just, that's how you get uh, Windows 7 on your Mac with Parallel 7 desktop for free. I don't think you need to wait until that happens, it's pretty much happened now isn't it, so uh, thanks very much for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.